yes, we've got National Dialect Weekend coming up this weekend. It is, as it says, a national uh, event, touring around the country, and uh, we're very, very lucky to uh, be hosting it here in the Black Country in 2015. To celebrate it is, is the paramount thing for me, because if you're keeping a language alive, and, and we're not we're not pickling it in aspic, we're, we're actually keeping it as a living language. There are ways and means of, of of recording languages these days, even more so than there was in the last sort of 40, 50 years. Um, and people are more interested in sort of, if you like, freeze framing language. And it's so important that we do that every generation. So that e as each generation moves language on into its new form, we have some record of how it once sounded. But what we shouldn't be doing, I don't think, is keeping language set in a particular time language should develop and should become something that is meaningful for today. And, um, and so I think in some ways this does both. It celebrates the past, it brings stories in from traditions of regions around the country, but it also gives us an opportunity to develop new stories and, and write contemporary stories uh, to record everything about today as well, so that again, in the future, people have got something to look back to. And so, yes, it's educational probably in a leisure sort of way in that we are giving people an opportunity to come and listen to a rich array of, of language and dialect but it's also very much a, a, a way of, of also recording how important and how varied our language is today.